let me take a moment and explain how the audiogram works. So what we're doing is tracking the level of hearing in the left and the right ear. We're using blue X's to check and track the level of hearing in the left ear, and then we're using red circles to check and track the level of hearing in the right ear. The way the audiogram is built as a graph is we're measuring frequency or pitch, and we're measuring volume or power. So on the top of the screen, going from left to right, is where we're measuring pitch or frequency. We've got our deep tones here on the far left-hand side of the screen, our mid-tones in the middle, and our high tones on the far right-hand side. When it comes to power or volume, we have very soft sound here at the top of the screen. Some people call this, at the very top of the screen, the softest sound. If you can detect that, that would be, for some people, considered perfect hearing. As we move down the graph, we're having to make sound louder and louder for you to barely hear that particular note. So when we get down to the bottom of the page at 110 and 120 decibels, that is loud. In most people's cases, it's dangerously loud or excruciatingly loud along here. So let's look at how your hearing is being measured today. You can see in the right ear, here with the red circles, we're just below sharp perfect hearing in the low and mid tones. And then as we move in the upper mid tones and high tones, we see a very distinct drop off down to 50 decibels right at this level. Looking at the left ear, you're also hearing below normal, but you know, a little below perfect, more at a mild loss in the lower and mid tones, but we have a much sharper distinctive loss as we move from the upper mid tones down into the high tones along here, down to a level of 80 and 85 decibels for the left ear. So where the right ear loss is down to 45 to 50 decibels, the left ear loss is down to 80 and 85 decibels. So much more extreme in the left ear. Here's what that means. Let me erase this real quick. When it comes to hearing voices, sounds in words have different pitches or tones to them. In the deeper tones, the area that you're hearing better, you're hearing the vowels really well. You're hearing letters like B, D, G, the R's, the M's. Those are deeper and they have more power to them, so you're picking those up better. The letters you're not hearing so well, especially in your left ear, are things like S's, T's, F's, PH's, TH's, the X's, some of the C's, some of the T CH's, the P, F, T, S. Those soft fricatives are harder for you to pick up because you have a high frequency loss, especially in your left ear. What that means, when people are talking to you, a word comes up, you're hearing a word, a word, a word, a word, a word, but this word right here, let's say it's glass, or let's say it's a word like test, or let's say it's a word like ball. Your brain may not hear parts of those letters as well as other parts, so your brain starts to guess. Because it's guessing about that word, it really misses these next two words. It gives you the impression of people talking too quickly. It gives you the impression of people mumbling, not speaking as clearly as they used to, when in fact, they're speaking the same way they always have. It's your hearing that's affecting how things sound to you. With a loss like this, 
We strongly recommend that a patient listen to a set of hearing aids, give themselves a chance to wear something really tiny like this in the office, and get a sense of what it's like to recapture sharp, clear, distinct hearing. They're comfortable, easy to wear, and they make a world of difference. Remember, life is better with better hearing.